What's up guys, welcome back to another video, and today I'm going to be telling you the best tips to grow your Roblox YouTube channel in 2021. I get asked this question a lot in my comments, my Discord server, and just in real life. So I thought I'd make a video on it just for you guys. And these tips aren't just for Roblox channels, these tips are great for any channel in general. So let's just get straight into the first tip. Number one, best types of videos to upload. Look, everybody wants to be a popular YouTuber that can just make whatever content they want and get millions of views. But you gotta start off from somewhere. So I would recommend if you're starting out with maybe like 50 to 100 subs, to start making update videos, what's going on in the Roblox community, or maybe even tutorials. All these types of videos can get you thousands of views. And these types of videos bring tremendous value to people, which is informing them on certain updates or helping them fix a problem with a tutorial. A great way to find out what's trending on Roblox is to go to the YouTube search bar and search up Roblox, and the first results that pop up are the most trending things right now. Tip number two, upload consistently. I know it's really tough to upload on a daily basis, but you really don't have to do that. It's really great if you actually can do that, but at first try to aim for once or twice a week. It's not putting too much pressure on you to make content all the time, but it's still enough to keep your audience engaged. And uploading more consistently doesn't screw with the YouTube algorithm and gives you more chances for your video to pop off. Tip number three, have good audio quality. People can forgive bad video quality as long as you have at least decent audio quality. That's not an excuse to have bad video quality, but if it does come down to it, you really want to focus on your audio. You don't have to have like a $200 mic or anything like that. You can even use your phone microphone, which are decent for the job. Just make sure that you're in an uplifting tone and you're not speaking too low because those things really suck in YouTube videos and can be avoided so easily. Tip number four, have good SEO. If you don't know what SEO stands for, it stands for search engine optimization. And this relates to titles, descriptions, thumbnails, and tags. I'm not gonna get super deep into it, but I recommend that you go in the description down below and check out some links to some really good YouTubers that know a lot about this. But just some general rules, Make sure your thumbnail is simple and eye-catching. Make sure to have a title that gets straight to the point, but has tons of keywords in it. And have a description that can let people know what's going to happen in the video. Probably about a paragraph or so, with any other links in the description as well. And for tags, just different things related to your video. Also, feel free to look up videos on your topic for inspiration. Number five, interact with your audience. There's so many small YouTubers that don't do this, which really ticks me off because this is just a huge missed opportunity if you're not interacting with your fans. If you have a hundred or a thousand or even a couple thousand subs, there's no reason why you can't reply to all or even some of your comments that come in. Even if you can't reply to all the comments, at least right after you upload the video, take about 20 minutes to reply to all the comments that come in. Because when fans see that you're taking the time to acknowledge your audience, they'll feel included and are significantly more likely to subscribe. So anytime you're interacting with a fan, give them your best and let them know your appreciation. Trust me, it really goes a long way. Tip number six, dive into your analytics. The analytics might look scary, but here's some things that you should look for in your analytics. The first thing I would recommend looking at in your analytics is audience retention. Audience retention shows what parts of your videos are keeping your audience's attention, which can be super valuable information if you change up your content to fit what your analytics is saying. You can also look at stuff like click-through rate, which can let you know if your video's thumbnail is great or not. Really take a good look into your analytics because it's really interesting. And also if you feel unmotivated, just go back into your analytics and see how far you've come. Tip number seven, don't be afraid of switching up the content sometimes or changing some certain aspects of your videos. Obviously don't go ahead and just switch completely to a different niche because that's bad and you can lose a lot of your audience. But don't be afraid to switch up some stuff in your videos if it's for the better and experimenting is a really good key part in growing with your YouTube channel. But also remember, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. That means if something's working for you, don't change it up because obviously it's working and your audience loves it. Tip number eight, time management. I know it's really hard to balance YouTube, life, work, and school, but really try to set up like a day or maybe even some time a day that you just strictly work on YouTube videos with no distractions. So try to manage your time as much as possible to be the most efficient. Okay, the ninth tip that I have for you guys is to cut the fluff out of your videos. And what I mean by fluff is stuff that doesn't really matter, stuff that veers off from the topic of the video, and also those awkward pauses in between sentences. Trust me, nobody likes those. Okay, the 10th and final tip that I have for you guys is to not give up on YouTube. I've seen so many small creators give up, especially a lot of my friends, because the journey with YouTube is just really hard. 
but anything that's worth it is gonna take time and work. And if you implement all the things I told you in this video, and you work really hard at it, I guarantee you can get somewhere on this platform. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope this video helped you out. And if it did, hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on future videos. And I love you all, and I'll catch you in the next video.